Springfield woman caught an alleged picture pervert snapping pictures up her skirt at a local grocery store seafood counter over the weekend. 22 News reporter Anthony DiLorenzo explains why the elderly suspect has yet to be charged. I just went to get a piece of salmon and cherries. But Maria Fatima got a whole lot more than she bargained for at this East Long Meadow Stop and Shop Sunday. And I felt a slight touch on the back of my calf. I had a nice skirt on. And when I turned, I saw an older gentleman. And um, I asked him, what did he just do? She knew something was fishy. The Springfield mom spotted his digital camera and snatched it. I forcefully demanded a camera. At this point, I did get the camera. I did ask, you know, I called out for them to call the police. And um, to my surprise, there was photos of my behind. After chasing him down the aisles, 74-year-old Harold Jory was in the clutches of Fatima. When I grabbed him, he said, sorry, please let me go, please let me go. And he had the wrong girl. I wasn't letting him go. This is behavior that's not uh, that uncommon. Uh, there's been incidences like this across the country, and this type of behavior is not, not uh, clearly defined in most uh, s statutes. Despite a photo gallery of other women fully clothed, in public found on Jory's computer at his East Long Meadow home, it's tough to charge him with more than a misdemeanor. Because of the, uh, the fact that people are in public and, and uh, very often uh, these guys that chase the celebrities and things try to get uh, embarrassing shots, uh, this is going beyond that though. To me that's upsetting how the law would not you know, arrest this pervert for doing that. Fatima says it serves as a warning to women to be on the lookout. With technology these days, with, you know, the digital cameras, with the cell phones, it's just, we are all vulnerable, and it's unfortunate. In East Long Meadow, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, 22 News.